Good day everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to share three Psalms. Psalms 23, Psalms 91, and Psalms 121. Just to assure us that God is able. And Psalms 23 reads, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. What an assurance to know that God is with us, and surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. We need not be afraid, because he has already prepared a table before us, in the presence of our enemies. Come what may, the Lord has already prepared the place. He has already prepared that table. He has already set the atmosphere. So we need not be afraid. Praise God. Psalms 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and butler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor the arrow that flyeth by day nor the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor the destruction that wasted at noonday. A thousand shall fall by thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most I, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he had set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he had known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. He that dwelleth in that secret place. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. We just have to trust in him and stay secure in his secret place. There no harm nor danger will come nigh us because he has given his angels charge over us. So we just continue to trust in the Most High God, knowing that he is able and he is willing. Praise God. Psalms 121. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer my foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, 
nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Right now, this time in which we are living in, we are living in perilous times where there's so many things happening around us. But yet we can be rest assured that God is with us. We are just to lift up our eyes unto the hills, call upon him, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not suffer our foot to be moved. He is our keeper. He'll provide for us. He will make room for us. We will not go in want. We will not go in needing of anything because he will provide our need. He says in his word, here in uh, verse 7 says, The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. Meaning the Lord will keep us. The Lord will keep us. In these times he will keep us. Even though we might be, there might be shortages, but he will supply our need. He will put it in your spirit and tell you when to go and when to buy this and when to buy that. And he will also let you know what to stock up on. So you will not be wanting of anything. In these last days, we just need to look up continue to trust in him remembering that our God never fails he will not fail he is the same yesterday today and forever his words shall not go back void but they will accomplish what they were set to accomplish just continue to trust in the Lord my brothers and sisters knowing that he is willing and able and that no harm nor danger will come nigh us as long as we continue to trust in him to believe that he is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. Praise God. Have a blessed day. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. God bless you.